Muna grew up in a large family of six sisters and two brothers, so she had to learn to defend herself at an early age. Muna credits a lot of her martial arts training to her sister, Rofia. Rofia holds a black belt from Shulman's MMA camp and was an inspiration for Muna to start training. After visiting her sister at a training session, Muna saw the determination and focus in her sibling's eyes and wanted that for herself. Muna immediately picked up training at Shulman's gym and lost 50 pounds in her first year of training. She didn't want to stop there. She loved the shape she was in and she continued to push herself. And as her body got better, so did her skills. And Muna Holland began to believe there may be a future in martial arts. Her trainer encouraged her to start competition and Muna did so, looking to take any possible fight she could. And soon thereafter, she made her professional debut in the WCL's Combat Zone. Miss Muna Holland burst onto the scene when she faced WCL's undefeated point leader from season one, Jennifer Santiago. This is gonna be a tough one because, you know, Santiago is the anchor for the New York team. She is strong, hard puncher, good kicker. This is not a good fight for uh, Holland to start off. Muna Holland, let's not sell her short. Silver medalist at the U.S. Nationals last year in boxing, bronze at Golden Gloves Nationals. Well, she looks like she's getting right after it. So, I mean, yeah, she's yeah. not scared. She's no, going she's... down. She's doing good counter. Ooh, Ooh. Wow. Yeah, that was a good, good, good overhand right from Holland. It's very quick. She's in and out of there. Oh, look out. You, you can't blame Santiago for being a little surprised. This is not a this is not a fighter who spends a lot of time on her back there in the sure. combat zone. Wow. Look at this, the huge upset. Muna's strong 15 to eight victory made it apparent there's a new face in the female division. Muna Holland, what can I say about Muna Holland? She is the sweetest person in this world. But if you get in the ring with her, you are done. She is an exceptional fighter, as well as an exceptional person. Uh, she's probably one of my favorite women of the whole league. I have the best training partner in the world, you know what I mean? She's absolutely amazing, and it's good to know no matter how hard we go, and we go pretty hard, probably harder than we go with anybody else, you know, we know it's just, you know, it's just training, and, you know, afterwards we hug, and, you know, we got, we're there to support each other. She's an amazing woman, man. Her attitude is so great. She's always positive. And there's nothing bad I can say about her at all. Nothing, well, I can't say that she hits hard and she hurts me a couple of times, but that's pretty much it. When you watch Muna throw down in the combat zone, one thing sticks out, her unbelievable power. She, she's like one of the roughest girls I know, man. She brings it. She does not back down. She brings it. You punch her, kick it, she brings it. I spar with her sometimes too, so this will get her you know, up there, man. She, she brings it. She doesn't care. Just take a punch to the face, she's coming. So don't expect for her to back down, man, because she's going to bring the fight. I'll be honest with you, I just have a really good time. <laughs> I do, and uh, some people, you know, have a killer instinct or whatever. I'm not a killer instinct person. I, I really enjoy competing. I'm driven from a different source. I'm not there to, you know, hurt people, and that's not my goal, but I certainly like to win. <laughs> you get beauty, brains, and power in the same package. It's ridiculous. She's just really good. For example, her fight with Jennifer Hahn back at the Freeman Coliseum in San Antonio, Texas. Enjoy this beauty. I remember the round. I think she's really gonna. I think she's gonna turn things around. Maybe get a knockout. Or she's gonna work the hands a lot. There you go. Go for that knockout. Look, looking for a big right hand and a big left hook. And uh, oh, oh, there it is. Spinning bottom fist from Holland that took Khan out. He did flush. Right the turn. Well, that was interesting because Khan spun, but she didn't let her back just go. She was actually there sooner than Holland. Holland just extended it, and that's it. End of the match. How about it? It'd be interesting to play back because uh, had it. She just didn't extend her own bottom fist. Muna Holland made quite an impression on us in her rookie year, and we look forward to what she's got in store for us in the upcoming season.